Hello, Mooseys. All right, me and Noah's here for a go for a paddle. First paddle of the year. In the back, right? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, man. Well, we got the Howley Trussell over here, and uh, we could not have picked a better day. I checked the forecast, and it was showing about uh, it was showing about five kilometer hour winds with twelve kilometer hour wind gusts, and it's not uh, it's not windy at all. I mean, you can tell the water is just like glass. Decent uh, spot of birch here. Just can't get over how beautiful it is out. It's so nice. Well, May 2-4 or Victoria Day weekend is almost here, here in Newfoundland. Uh, trout season opens up. Salmon season is not too far behind. Uh, people's going to camp more and get outside more. In honor of all that, I got a couple giveaways to do. Uh, a few things in each giveaway. Uh, these here are two collapsible camp bowls. Super convenient to put in your pack, compact salmon or nothing. I got a couple fishing lures to give away for people to put in their tackle box. These here are pretty cool. I got one myself. Um, they're two carabiner mugs. Uh, clip on anything really, your backpack or your belt loop if you want it to. This here is a foldable saw given to me by my friend Tim Ball at Home Hardware. Uh, I'll be sure to plug uh, Home Hardware in this video. Um, yeah, Tim gave me the saw. It's a Mountain Lab saw. It's pretty good. Fold in your backpack. See you later. And along with that, Brian Chalk from Shears in Pasadena gave me this uh, foldable DeWalt knife to give away. Which is pretty cool. Matter of fact, Brian gave me uh, one of my own. I've been using that for a couple weeks, and I really do like the knife, I must say. Uh, so to enter in all this stuff, um, you got to like the video, comment, subscribe, same as uh, usual. Uh, I'm going to put the links on my Facebook, and I'm going to put it on my Instagram story. Feel free to share that if you want to. It'll probably help me out a little bit. Um, so yeah, like I said before, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to. That there is a male merganser, Noah just said. Seeing this be like my first time in a canoe, like, you know, without an adult, because last time I went when I was probably eight, ten years old. Yeah, it was a long time. But uh, we must have kind of hang close to the shores, yeah. just in case. But I can, uh, I can touch with the paddle now. 
So we're not that deep. What's this on the It almost sounds like two, see? Yeah. Noah said that they're nesting now, the Canadian geese. So we'll leave them alone. <laughs> as tempting as it is. <laughs> well, we were gonna stop at an island back there, but we really couldn't find nowhere to, to get the canoe and we don't really have rubbers on, so. Um, we never decided to go over there. But now over in this here little cove, it looks half promising. Just watch it, she might get a little tippy though, that's all. Not too bad, not too bad. You're good. Hey? Okay. What? A bit of wind coming up now. Yeah? Good size there, eh? Huh? It's good size. Just now. I think we're good. Well, we got a load of sticks here now, and uh, me and Noah's gonna go over there on that shoreline and uh, have a little boil up. Here we go. This is like a flooded bog, man. This just seems like underneath yeah, it. Yeah. You do that, yeah. Knuckled myself on that twig there. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Uh, yeah.
Hey, uh, I'll give that up. <laughs> well, on the menu today, we got uh, beans and bacon and some of mom's homemade fresh bread. And uh, this meal was requested as per uh, Hilda Keats, my buddy Sean Keats' his mom. And she watches all the episodes and stuff, so she asked if I would uh, have beans and bacon on one episode. So Hilda, this meal is for you. <laughs> The flies are officially out. Good as that look. Bit of bacon, bit of beans. Mmm. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. No butter or nothing. That's when he. That's when he knows it's good fresh bread. Oh yeah. All right, well that does it for lunch, just about. All packed up, did it the fire. Got the gear loaded back in the canoe. And uh, now we're gonna dodge off again. What a spot this is though. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Good? Yeah. yeah, I got it now. I'm gonna push you out okay. get in. Hold on. You got her. Good. Yep. You got her. You got her, buddy. You got her. So we're on the way back here now, and uh, it's still a beautiful day. Like, you can't get any better than this. But this is the largest lake in Newfoundland. Actually, it's three lakes, and they all connect to one another. We're on Sandy Lake now, but uh, over in that direction, that's the Howland Arrows. That's where Sandy Lake and Grand Lake meet. Um, and down towards where that, I don't know if you can see that the dirt mountain back there. Uh, Birchie Lake flows into Sandy Lake, so it's Birchie Lake, Sandy Lake, and Grand Lake, and it's, it's over 160 kilometers long, from what I've heard. I'm not too sure. You know, you know the distance, Noah? I don't know. I think it's 160 kilometers long, but there's a whole lot of fish in here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All in all, 
it was a pretty good trip. Definitely gonna do more this summer. Well, first canoe trip was a success. Wind come up a little bit, but tell you what, it's just like the glass out there again. So yeah, this is pretty fun. Come fishing season now, if we can get a calm evening, we'll uh, go out for a canoe and a fish. That'll be pretty fun. Yeah. Perfect.